All right, you'll get to hear me twice in less than 45 minutes, so enjoy. Love this baritone of voice and get to know it. I have terrible jokes. It's 3.30, 4 in the morning. No, it's 4 a.m. for me, so it's been good. I've been partying all night with you guys. It's fantastic. So I'm here. I got 10 minutes. My presentation has five minutes in it, so I'm going to cut a bunch of crap right now. And No, I'm just joking. Here we go. Um, so why do you need spectrum analysis? That's what my discussion's on. Uh, being from Medigeek, uh, you guys know that we, we gave you guys all a spectrum analyzer in your bags uh, for 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, come by the 5 gigahertz later. It's pictured here. Um, that's my only sales pitch until later. Um, but anyways, we're in a, it, we're in a time of um, design you know, for Wi-Fi. And unfortunately, no one does that. Uh, the word design is, a, I guess, a dirty word. It doesn't go with Wi-Fi, but it should. And there's a lot of products out there that help you design a, a good Wi-Fi. But one thing that you'll always need to know is, is that we're using a shared medium. And that shared medium, because of that, we need to understand what's in there. And so you wouldn't pull a cable to an AP if you didn't test that cable. So why would you pull a cable to an AP, turn the AP on, and then not test the medium at which your clients are sharing? You know, it's that same exact connection point. If that connection, even though you pulled it, doesn't mean it's clear. Something could be in that space. And we're going to go through a quick quiz. What's this? Anybody know? Yeah, we know this is a, a G or B. Ne uh, it's a B network, right? Oh, well, that was uh, Bluetooth in discovery mode. All this is. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Let's try another one. What's this? Does anybody have small children? Baby uh, it's a baby monitor. Woohoo! Why is this important? You know, hey, we're enterprise. Most of us install them in enterprise businesses. Well, businesses are being uh, in more mixed use environments where you have apartment buildings above a business. Well, those apartment buildings have people in them. People have children. Children need to be monitored. Ah, baby monitor. And you wonder why your network sitting on channel six is getting hosed. All right, let's try another one. Neil, Neil out there. What is this one, Neil? Yeah, it's the magic Disney castle. Sweet. It's exactly right. Well, that Disney castle is also better known as an analog video transmitter, so we got a video transmitter. All right, how about this one? Ah, yay, we got one. Microwave oven. And then this one? Not the Disney castle? Uh, fireworks, yeah. It's actually a uh, motion sensor. All right, so then uh, we're going to go to one more. What's this one? Anybody have kids yet again? Anyone play a game? Yeah, this is an Xbox controller. Very interesting thing about this Xbox controller is it's not actually being played with. This Xbox controller is sitting on a couch. And this just has to be sitting near a channelizer running a Y-Spy, and you get to see it. This thing is in, dis, is, n is in discovery mode. It's waiting for somebody to push a button on it to turn on the Xbox. So it's always going. So when it's turned on, it's even worse. But All right, let's go through one more, or a couple more. How about this one? Everybody has them in their offices. It's a wireless headset. Another one that causes you problems. And then I'm going to show you the mystic beast that is supposedly coming to get us all. Uh, yeah, 802.11 AC. Uh, yeah, that's uh, only half, 80 megahertz wide, right? That's a, hard, that's a hard thing to get. You know how hard it is, how much data you got to push to get an 80 megahertz wide? You know, at utilization, you know, it's 100% utilization at that. It was, that, was a, that was a tough one. So really, um, why spectrum analysis is you need to know what's there or not there, right? Everyone says, hey, I never, you know, I just heard this last night. He goes, yeah, you got a great product. I'm going to kick you in the nuts here in just a second by telling you that uh, Spectrum's never the problem, right? 90% of the time, the Spectrum's not the problem. That 10% of the time, and you're sitting there chasing packets, it's the Spectrum. And the other part of that, the, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70% of the time where you're having problems, check the Spectrum. Um, <laughs> because that Spectrum could be causing your utilization, right? You have oversaturation in your airspace. You got. Um, you can have some issues there too. All right. So that is 
kind of a pitch of why you need spectrum analysis. Anybody here got a good story or have a point where spectrum was the issue? Anybody? You are nodding your head. Come on, give me it. Uh, we had one where they actually had a church with a video system that was installed and it was a directional link across the company that we were troubleshooting for. Oh, that's a beautiful one. I've actually, that, that, that's actually a, um, a very common thing. Uh, we had a customer that contacted us that gave us their spectrum view. They gave us a recording, which by the way, we, we love to collect recordings, so if you got any, share them. But um, they're like playing cards. You know, you get some rare ones, you get some cool ones. But we had one where these guys built their brand new building, brand new building, and it was, a, um, I believe, a three-story building, so it wasn't too tall. And they put the executive office in the upper corner. They went through, laid out, did their predictive design, hung all the APs, got all their channels set up, and no one was able to connect in the one corner. And what it was is, is that before the building was there, there was a directional point-to-point -point connection. Now that the building's there, there's a point to straight into the side of that building connection. And it was blasting RF right into that corner of the building. Um, and so therefore, they, uh, you know, they had to deal with that, and they had to figure out how to get around it. Well, they tried packets, they tried rehanging new gear, they thought it was the cables, they tried everything, and then finally they thought, maybe we should get a spectrum analyzer and figure this out. Um, and they got it. So, um, there was another one, you know, Neil had to, had to talk about, they were, he was setting up one at a hotel where um, they were getting this huge spike, and they saw the Disneyland castle, and they tried to figure out where it was, because it was cutting out an entire channel for him. What it was is some guy decided he wanted to go check out the girls on the beach with his wireless camera. And that's the short part of the story. I don't know why Neil told that about himself, but hey, uh, I was just joking. I met the guy last night, teasing on him. But anyways, I'm going to cut my 10 talk um, somewhat short. You know, Spectrum is a thing. And um, I did want to give a shout out to a guy that's not physically here. But if you see him, tweet that. Let him know. Uh, we love them. All right. Hey, everybody, thanks a lot, and have a good one.